Hello, ladies and gentlemen, scared to a here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare slash Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the T-72 family of main battle tanks. T-72 is a family of Soviet main battle tanks that entered production in 1969. The T-72 is a development of the T-64, which is troubled by high cost and its reliance on immature developmental technology. About 25,000 T-72 tanks have been built, and refurbishment has enabled many to remain in service for decades. It has been widely exported and has been in service with 40 countries and in numerous conflicts. The Russian T-90 introduced in 1992 and the Chinese Type 99 are further developments of the T-72. Production and development of various modernized T-72 models continues today. So yeah, the T-72 here is uh, one of the most iconic Russian tanks. It's really the workhorse and the backbone of most of its armored divisions. Uh, especially today, it is still being used in versions of the T-72B3M. Uh, so uh, again, you know, widely used and, you know, it's still a, uh, you know, formidable tank on the battlefield, though it definitely is showing its age. Now, in front of us, we have six of the main production variants for the Soviets. Um, this is not including the main export er uh, version, which was the T-72M. I do plan on doing a tutorial in the future that will cover the export variants um, and all that stuff. So the Iraq, uh, Ukraine, and also just the standard uh, M version. So if you are interested in that, definitely stick around as uh, we'll be taking a look at that definitely in the future. Now, uh, this tutorial here, we'll be covering all six of these models you can see in front of us uh, we will be going ahead and start with the t-72a and then modifying it to basically fit the needs of every tank so uh, you will have basically by the end of this six possible tank designs you can have and that expand across all areas of the t-72 so uh, you have a lot of playability uh, with use in that and it should be a fun um, way to really bolster up uh, some of your Russian forces and this is a completely new design for the chassis all that stuff so uh, if you are uh, if you build any of my previous T-72s, this is an entirely new design and vastly improved over the previous versions. Now, uh, with that, let's go ahead and dive in here and take a look at each individual one and all that stuff, and then we'll move into the tutorial. So, uh, the first one we have here is the T-72 Ural. This is the first production model, um, so really nothing too special about it, pretty just basic equipment and all that stuff. Then we have our next model here, which is going to be the T-72A. This was the improved version of the uh, T-72 Ural. It was the first uh, upgraded uh, main production model. The next one we have here is going to be the T-72B. This is the standard B version. Then right after it, we have the upgraded B, which is the... Um, T-72B 1989, so this was uh, so slight upgrades, mainly the composite armor around the turret, um, a little bit more, uh, you know, beefed up rather than just having reactive armor on it, so a bit of an upgrade over that. And then the next tank we have here is going to be the T-72B3, which uh, was one of the first Russian um, modifications to basically bring them back into service. Um, so this is an upgrade version. And then right next to it, we have the current, uh, I guess you can say peak design here for the T-72. This is the T-72B3M. Uh, so this is the one that's currently being fielded a lot in Ukraine. Um, I would say probably this and the, um, the, the uh, B3 are the ones that you're going to really see in the, um, you know, mo more modern conflicts since these are both uh, designed and fueled by Russia. Uh, the other ones here are all being uh, ex-Soviet designs. So, again, by the end of this tutorial, you will have basically six available tanks for you in this build. Um, like I've said before, the way we're going to structure this tutorial is we're going to be going ahead and building the T-72A version first. And then we'll be going ahead and taking the A model and modifying it to basically create our other version. So... With that though, let's go ahead and dive into our tutorial by going ahead and starting with the T-72A. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our uh, first uh, build where we go ahead and build the T-72A. Now the T-72A here is going to be the base of all the rest of our designs. So if you are wanting to build like the T-72B3M, you will need to build this model first. And then we'll be talking about how to convert this t model into the t 72 uh, B3. So uh, again, any model that you plan on building besides the T-72A, you will build this model and then we'll be going ahead and doing a conversion portion of the tutorial, which will show you how to convert it to each model. So uh, hopefully that's clear and um, all that stuff, but we can go ahead and now jump into this build. So uh, to go ahead and get started with this, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick um, upside down stair. Uh, we're going to space this out a little better. So it's only a space of three there. Like so. so we have a nether brick stair here and then we're going to place down a second stair. Now behind this, we're going to place down a row of two of black concrete. Then we want to place down two rows of two of polished blackstone. Then another set of two 
uh, polished black stone stairs back to back, and we're going to do this through uh, two more times. So you should have a total of four of these segments where you have basically two polished black stone stairs, uh, two rows of two back to back like that. Then we're going to place down another row of black concrete across, two narrow brick slabs here, and two narrow brick top slabs to go ahead and round off the back here of our track. With that done, uh, we're going to go and grab ourselves uh, some uh, dark prismarine slabs, and we're going to place down a row of dark prismarine slabs that's going to come off this black concrete. So one, two, three, across like that. We'll then place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off these slabs here to the sides, and we're going to open these fence gates toward those slabs. And on the back here, we're going to go into this row of nether brick slabs, and we're going to place down a row of three over as well. We then want to connect our rows of dark prismarine together like this to go ahead and form the bottom here of the tank. So just like that, and then two more black concrete, two narrow brick ups down stairs, and then we're going to go ahead and repeat the same process for the tracks just over here to this side. So again, we're just taking the same design and copying it over to this side, really straightforward and easy stuff like that going back. And then we're going to go ahead and place down two narrow brick slabs and two narrow brick top slabs to go ahead and finish um, that off there. Now uh, on the sides here to detail up the road wheels, we're going to place down an item frame and a green stained glass pane in the item frame. If you're on Java, we can also place down a dark oak wood button that will go in the or on the side of the dark or the black concrete block as well. Um, again, if you're on Java, we can do that. If you're not on Java, then you will not be able to uh, place that and you'll have to just place down the item frame. We're going to do the same thing up here for this black concrete row. So again, using the same techniques as we did for the other wheels, and of course, the same thing over here on this side as well. So just like that. After that's done, we're going to then place down our green banners. So this green banner design we have here um, is basically we're going to take uh, two green banners, and that's the wrong one. There we go. Uh, we're going to make these two green banners. So we're going to have two green banners. We're going to go ahead and split one banner with left with, on the left side with black um, dye. And then on the other side, it's going to split the banner in half vertically uh, with black on the right side. Then for both banners, we're just going to do a black horizontal line. Really straightforward stuff. I don't think it needs to be explained in a loom. And then we're going to place it down on the sides here of these stairs with the green portion facing toward um, one another. So it's going to select that on the wheels. And same thing will be done over here on this side. So just like that. After that is all done right there, that's gonna wrap up everything we have for layer number uh, one of the build. And with that, we'll be moving on to layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to start with, we're gonna take our green terracotta. We're gonna build two rows of two on top of these narrow brick ups down stairs. And then we're gonna place down a dark oak sign to the side there of those blocks. After that's done, we're gonna take our green terracotta and we're gonna go ahead and then place down a row of seven of green terracotta across this space like so. Actually, sorry, in my bed, it's gonna be a row of five and then we're gonna have a dark prismarine upside down stair to both sides. On the side here of this stair as well, we're gonna place down a dark oak with sign, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of dark prismarine slabs across this space here um, in between those green terracotta blocks. And then we just want to place down two green stained glass panes on the front here uh, for the fender fenders on the front tracks. Once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of seven across. Then we're going to follow this up with a second row of seven, then a uh, third, and then four, five, six, seven and eight rows of seven going all the way across and on the sides here of these eight rows we're going to place down dark oak with trap doors and close them so they lay flat on the side of the tank same thing will be done over here so just like that once that's done we're going to then place down a dark prismarine upside down stair to both sides here and then a dark prismarine top slab going back we're going to fill in the spaces between the stairs and top slabs with green terracotta and then we're just going to place down dark oak signs on the side of the stair and slabs like this to the sides. So really straightforward there. And then taking our green terracotta, we're just going to place down two rows of two of green terracotta on top of those narrow brick top slabs. We're going to place down an item frame to the side and a cobweb in the item frame. If you're on Java, we'll also place a dark oak wood sign on the side of that block as well. Same thing over here on this side, just like that. Then we just want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood trap door that's going to come off this green terracotta block. As well as another dark oak wood trap door over here to this side. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate that's going to go back from those green terracotta blocks. A row of three of green terracotta blocks across that middle space there and a row of three of dark prismarine top slabs across that. 
After that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some spruce wood top slabs. We're going to place down a row of five of spruce wood top slabs on the back here for the unditching log. And then on the ends, we're going to place down a player head like that. And we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves some spruce wood signs, and we're just going to place down spruce wood signs on the sides here of these block or on these slabs. So like that going across there, and that's going to be representative of your unditching log. Um, after that's all done right there though, that is going to wrap up everything we have for layer two. Here again is a top down view of what that looks like. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which will be layer number three. Moving into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number three. For layer three to start with, we're going to take our uh, daylight detectors. So go and grab those and we're going to place down two daylight detectors on top of those green terracotta blocks. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of two of dark prismarine slabs behind those. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of two of end portal frames to both sides. Between the end portal frames, we're going to place down three dark prismarine slabs and then a zombie head like this to both sides for the front headlights. Then taking our end portal frames, we're going to place down a row of seven all the way across the space like so. Then two green shulker boxes to both sides here. And then a row of three of green terracotta across the middle there like that. Taking our green shulker boxes, we're going to place down one additional row of two of, two of green shulker boxes. And then we're going to place down three and four. So you're going to place down, again, four more rows of or um, three more rows in total. You have uh, basically a two by four rectangle here of your shulker boxes. We're gonna go and then take a green terracotta, fill in the spaces in between. And then after that, we wanna go and then place down a row of three, or sorry, two rows of three of green terracotta going down um, this line here. Actually, sorry, three rows of three going down. And then we're gonna place down dark prismarine stairs like this to both sides. And then we're gonna place down a green shulker box again to the sides and then two end portal frames back from those. And we're gonna make that three end portal frames. On the sides of the end portal frames, we're gonna place down dark oak with signs. And same thing will be done over here on this side. So just like this. And we're also gonna go ahead and make sure we do the ones up here on the front as well. So just make sure you give them the same treatment with the dark oak with signs. And we're also gonna take green banners and we're gonna place down green banners along the side there of those shulker boxes. And same thing will be done over here on this side. After that is all done, we want to go ahead and then take our black beds. We're going to place down a black bed here in the center like so. And then two black beds to the sides of it. Like that. And then we're going to place down a uh, polished blackstone slab. That is going to... Um, or actually, rather, we're going to place down another end portal frame. And then a dark oak with sign. And another end portal frame and a dark oak with sign like this. And we're actually going to go ahead and extend our shulker boxes one more. So I actually messed that up a little bit. We're going to bring this back one more instead of that end portal frame and it will look like this here. So uh, my mistake there on that one, but uh, luckily just an easy fix. So it should look like this here so far. Then on the very back here, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, deep slate tile slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four across this space here, leaving a space of one on the right side. And in this space here, we're going to place down a zombie head. We then want to go ahead and grab a polished blackstone slab, and we're going to place down a polished blackstone slab that's going to come off these shulker boxes or off the uh, end portal frames going back like that. And lastly, we're just going to go ahead and take our levers, and we're going to place down a lever here on top of these two uh, spruce wood top slabs like that to go ahead and connect up to the deep slate. So that right there is going to wrap up everything we have for layer number three for the build. And here is a top down view of what that should look like so far. Um, and with that, we're going to be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which will be layer number three. Four. Moving into our next layer, we move it into layer number four. For layer four to start with, we're going to place down a end portal frame that's going to sit on top of this middle end portal frame here. And we're going to then take our uh, dark prismarine slabs and we're going to build one, two, three, four going forward. Then we're going to place down two more end portal frames with dark oak wood signs on the sides of those end portal frames, as well as dark oak wood trap doors on the bottom of them. We're going to go ahead and take our dark prismarine slabs, place down three more forward, and then a dark uh, polished blackstone. Uh, slab on the very tip there. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, stripped birchwood block behind this um, end portal frame. And then the sides of it, we're going to place down another end portal frame like that. We're also going to go ahead and take a green shulker box. We're going to place down an upside down green shulker box, or I should say a sideways green shulker box right here. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a item frame in that shulker box. And I went ahead and placed down a music disc to create this little optics or box or whatever that is right there. Then after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of green terracotta 
behind this space here. And we're going to then place down an end portal frame to both sides there. Once we have that done, we're going to go and take dark oak wood fence gates. We're going to place down a fence gate here, here, and here. And we'll also need to go ahead and grab ourselves black candles. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and crouch in air and then right click on top of our fence gate and then uncrouch and then we can place down uh, a stack of four candles there. And we'll do the same thing here for each fence gate and this is going to represent our smoke grenade dispensers which are very numerous on the A version. And then we're going to open these fence gates here toward those end portal frames just like that. After that's done, we want to go and then take our green terracotta. We're going to place down another row of three across. Uh, or sorry, this is going to be a row of five actually. And then we want to go ahead and place down a tripwire hook that's going to be on the left side here. And on the right side, we're going to place down a zombie head on the shulker box and this green terracotta block. So a little bit of a difference in the sides there. So just make sure you're um, keeping track of those differences. Now, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down another row of five of green terracotta across. Over here on the right side of the tank, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. On the left side, it's going to be slightly different. It's just going to be a zombie head like this on this side. We then want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides here, and then a row of three of green terracotta across it between. On the left side and left side only, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign coming off this wall. Then once we get to this point, we're going to go and take our dark prismarine. We're going to place down a row of three of dark prismarine upside down stairs across the space here. A zombie head coming off this stair here to the left. And then we want to go and grab our rails, and we're just going to place down a row of three of rails that go um, across that back space like that. And once that's all done there, that's going to wrap up everything we have there for layer number four of the build. Again, here's a top-down view. We have the turret on it now. And um, with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which uh, will actually probably just be our final layers to go ahead and finish off the top of the turret. Moving into our final layers, we have layers five through ten. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and begin by going and placing down a birchwood trapdoor on top of this um, block here. And then right behind that, we're going to place down a dark prismarine slab, and then a end portal frame. We're going to place down two more end portal frames back, and then a dark prismarine slab here on the very end. We want to go ahead and go to the middle uh, end portal frame. We're going to place down a green terracotta block to the right side here, and we're going to go and place down dark prismarine stairs on these two sides here of the block. Then we're going to place down a dark prismarine slab on this forward side like so. We're also going to go and take our daylight detectors, and we're going to place down a daylight detector on each one of these walls right here. And we're also going to go and place down a dark oak wood fence post that is going to go ahead and sit on top of this with two end rods that go up. And then we'll go ahead and grab our iron bars, and we're going to place down two iron bars up from, or sorry, three iron bars up from those end rods like that for the radio antenna. On the other side of the turret here, it's going to be a little bit different of a design. Uh, we're going to first place down a end portal frame coming off this one here, and then a dark prismarine slab on the back side like this. We're also going to go ahead and place down a dark prismarine slab coming off the side of this shulker box like so, as well as end stone brick slabs right here and right there on the sides there of the turret. We're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood fence gate that's going to sit on the back here like this. We're going to open the fence gate toward the front of the tank. Um, Coming off the fence gate itself, we're going to place down an item frame, and in that item frame, we're going to place down some white concrete and a dark oak wood sign. So we have white concrete and a dark oak wood sign, just like that. Once uh, that's all done there, we're going to go and then go to the top of the fence gate, and we're going to place down a flower pot on top of it to go ahead and finish it off. Now, going ahead and moving to the uh, more front uh, left side of the turret, we're going to place down a dark prismarine slab here. This dark prismarine slab is going to have an item frame and a black bed. So an item frame and a black bed in the item frame, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood sign on the side of that slab. Now, again, the signs can only be placed if you're on Java. If you're not on Java, you have to just place down the item frame and disregard the um, sign there. We're going to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall of this side, a item frame again, and then we want to go ahead and place down white concrete in the item frame and a dark oak wood sign on the side of that wall, just like that. So that's going to create those optics there on the front. The last thing for us to do is to go ahead and do the top of the commander's cupola. This is going to be done by placing down a grindstone on top of the stair here for this light on the back of the turret. Um, if you are on Java, we can also go ahead and detail this a little bit further by going ahead and placing down an item frame between the uh, grindstone and this end rod here. So we have an item frame and then a snowball. So we can kind of sneak that in there. And then going forward from this, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, anvil, or an anvil. So we're going to go ahead and build our turret. Uh, we're going to place down an anvil and a polished uh, deep slate top slab. We're going to go and then place down a grindstone coming off the uh, 
anvil to the side here, and then a dark oak wood fence gate opened up toward the anvil over that green terracotta block. Going forward uh, for the machine gun, we're going to place down a chain like this, and then a lightning rod like that. We're going to place down a dark oak wood uh, sign on the sides of this polished uh, deep slate top slab, and then we're going to place down a item frame on the side of this anvil. In that item frame, we're going to have a black bed rotated sideways, and then another dark oak wood sign if you, uh, you're on Java. And then lastly, up on top here, we're going to place down a zombie head on top of the anvil, and then a zombie head coming off the side of the anvil like that to the side. If you're on Java, we can go ahead and also modify the properties here. Um, this is going to be done by going ahead and placing down a block that's going to come off the side here uh, of the anvil like this. So you have that empty space above it. We're going to place down a lever on the side of this block, and we're going to type in here for Java's. We're typing the command slash give app p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. So let's come in here, press and enter. We'll then take our debug stick, left click this till we get selected facing or selected face. We're gonna go and set this to floor and then rotate this around to connect up to this zombie head. Now, before we go ahead and wrap up our final layers here for the T72A, I do wanna go ahead and also direct our attentions real quick to this back section here. We're actually gonna place down two item frames on the sides of these end portal frames. So one, two, and in those end portal frames, we're gonna go ahead and place down black beds. So we're gonna place down one and two uh, black beds in those item frames and we're going to go ahead and rotate them sideways preferably with the pillows facing away from each other like that to go ahead and create the exhaust on the side here anyways though that right there is going to wrap up everything we have for the t72a uh, version with that we're going to be going ahead and now diving into the t72 ural as a reminder this is the base tank that you're going to be using to go ahead and modify for each section and i would recommend going ahead and now taking a look at the video description to go ahead and take a look at the timestamps where you can go and skip ahead to whichever version of the tank you want to build in particular. And also uh, you can take a look at the time encoder bar and there are chapters for this video. So you can go ahead and skip ahead to uh, whatever variant of the tank you want to build. So definitely uh, take advantage of that and skip ahead to whichever one you want to build. The next one we'll be building is the T72 Ural, which is the first production model. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and uh, move on to the B and go from there. So um, anyways, with that, let's go ahead and jump into to the T72 Ural tutorial. All right guys, so going ahead and moving into the conversion of the T72A into the T72 Ural. To go ahead and get started with this, we're gonna be going ahead and first focusing on our tracks here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and delete this dark oak wood sign and we're gonna go and delete the sign here and the stair. And we're gonna delete these dark oak wood trap doors and the green terracotta blocks behind them all the way down, as well as this dark prison rain stair and sign and this top slab. We're gonna go ahead and also delete these uh, green banners like that. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and take our nether brick top slabs and we're going to go ahead and build uh, one and two top slabs and then a dark prismarine top slab. We then want to place down uh, one and two top slabs again, a nether dark, or another dark prismarine top slab, another two uh, nether brick top slabs, a dark prismarine top slab, and then two more nether brick top slabs that bring us to the back here. Now on the side of these slabs, we're going to go ahead and place down item frames, green terracotta blocks in the item frames, and then a dark oak sign that's gonna go on the side here of these slabs as well. So uh, just like that again for my Java players. Now, once you have that done, we're also gonna place down an item frame on the front here, a cobweb in the item frame and a dark oak wood button on the side of that block again for my Java players. Now, once we get to this point, uh, we will be going ahead and setting up the little um, these little panels here that come off of it. I'm not sure the exact purpose of these. I think they're designed to stop ATGMs or something of that sort um, that will hopefully hit them and blow up on them rather than actually hitting the tank. So for this, we're gonna place down a dark oak trap door here that's gonna basically uh, be opened upwards like that. And we're also gonna be using a block called a barrier block. Now on Java, we can obtain them by typing the command slash give app p, um, and we can just type in barrier and it'll be this command here. Press and enter will give you this barrier block. Now we can use this right here. If you're non-Java, I believe they're also known as structure blocks on bedrock. So uh, you would have to figure out a way to get them on there. I'm not sure if they're just in the creative menu or not, but we're gonna place down this block nonetheless right here coming off this um, daylight detector. And we're gonna place down a dark oak wood sign coming off like that for those uh, panels. Now our next uh, panel here is gonna go on the side of this dark oak wood sign. We're gonna open this up like so. We will have to delete this uh, sign right here, which is really not a big deal. We're gonna place down a barrier block right here, come off this one. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and then uh, place down our sign. So our sign's gonna sit like this. And actually our trap door here is going to come off this way. So that's what I did wrong there. So it's actually gonna be the other way. So it should look like this here. After that is all done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and then place down another trapdoor that's going to sit in this space here. 
So coming off this one, we're going to place down a barrier block on this shulker box here, and then a dark oak with sign. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a another uh, one of these dark oak with trap doors here, coming off this uh, sign right here. And then a narrow barrier block coming off this one, and then a dark oak with sign. So that right there is going to create those uh, panels that are along the side of the tank. You're going to take that same track design and just copy it over to the other side. And I'll see you guys once we have the other side copied over. So the next thing we need to do here is we're going to go ahead and move into our turret. So for our turret here, we're going to go and delete the candles and the fence gates here. Um, the initial variant does not have um, any smoke grenade dispensers. What we're going to do instead is we're going to go ahead and place down dark oak with signs on the side of the, this end portal frame here and also the side of this one like that just to kind of help blend those a little bit better It's not perfect, but it does work and we'll also place down a side on the side here of this one So again, just kind of helps keep that color a little bit more consistent Then on the other side here, we are going to go ahead and delete these two zombie heads and on that uh, That green terracotta block they're going to place down a tripwire hook just like we had on the other side there um, Once uh, that's all done there, uh, we want to go ahead and also delete these two um, end stone brick blocks and we're going to go ahead and place down a anvil instead of a wall here so we're going to have an anvil and then we're going to keep that dark oak with sign so it's going to look like that there then we're going to go ahead and go to this section here we're going to delete this item frame completely and we're going to then place down a daylight detector uh, cut off this space and then on top of this uh, end portal frame we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head like that and then we want to place down a line of two of zombie heads so one two right here on this side so it's going to look like that there for the turret. So quite a bit of little differences there. So make sure that you have those um, transferred over. And then it also seemed like the Ural did have a, a lot of the tanks did have fuel tanks on the back. So I went ahead and also included those. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to delete the levers. Here we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks to both sides. We then want to place down two green stained glass panes along the sides here of those blocks. And then two dark prismarine slabs on top of them. We're going to place down item frames on the side of those green terracotta blocks and then a green terracotta block in the item frame just like that. And that right there is going to wrap up what we have for the rear fuel tanks and that is going to wrap up everything we have for the T-72 Ural. So again the T-72 Ural here is the uh, first kind of version of the tank so if you're looking for the very early model this is what you have here. So um, with that that's it for the T-72 Ural. With that we're going to go ahead and dive into the T-72B. Moving into our next variant we'll be going ahead and working on the T-72B. So to go ahead and get started with our modifications here, we'll be going ahead and first off delete our smoke dispensers. So we're going to delete this, uh, the candles and also the fence gates completely. So just going to get rid of those entirely. Now, once we get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and then replace these uh, end portal frames for dark prismarine full blocks. So we're just going to swap these blocks out here around the front here of the turret. So those are going to get swapped out like that. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and place down item frames on the top and of these blocks and also the sides where applicable. Now just know that on Java we can place down item frames in the same block space with each other. You will not be able to do that on um, Bedrock or Pocket Edition so you would have to find an alternative. Uh, but we're going to place these on the sides here of these blocks like so including the tops up here as well. So again wherever you can place down the item frames go ahead and place them. Now in those item frames, we're going to go and place down green beds just like this, and this is meant to mimic the reactive armor that the tank has on the front of its turret. So again, looking something kind of like that there. We can also place down dark liquid signs on the sides of these dark prismarine blocks for again for my Java users, uh, wherever it is um, available. So you can again only place it on a few sides here, so we're just going to go and place it down where we can. So it'll look something like that. We then want to go ahead and place down a zombie head that's going to sit in this space here. And then another zombie head has slightly more angled design there. So that's going to look like that there for that front section. With that done, we're going to then go to this area here. We're going to go ahead and delete this item frame and that sign there. And we're going to place down a smoker block in its place. And then we're going to place down a zombie head forward from it. We're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves some green carpet. And we're going to place down green carpet that is going to sit on top of the... Uh, smoker just like that now once uh, that's all done there we are going to go ahead and then move our attention here to the sides of the tank now for the sides of the tank we're going to start off by going ahead and deleting the dark oak with signs here the dark oak with trap doors all the way back until you have your last two and then also these uh, banners and also these signs here 
Now along the side here of these blocks, we're gonna go ahead and place down zombie heads along the side of the shulker boxes, the stairs, the green terracotta, all that stuff. It's gonna go all the way along the side there. Again, mimicking that reactive armor that the tank has a lot of all over it. So same thing on this side here as well. So that's going to finish that off like so. Now when it comes to the back of the tank here, we're also gonna go ahead and delete these rails. And in its place, we're gonna place down a row of green shulker boxes across. And we're gonna go ahead and then take our dark oak with fence gates. So we can grab one from here. We're gonna place down a row of three of fence gates across the space like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and place down a item frame on both ends of these fence gates. And we're gonna go ahead and place down a green terracotta block in those item frames, followed by a dark oak with sign on the side there if you're on Java, again, on both sides. And then again, if you're on Java, we can go ahead and uh, place down uh, some levers. So we can actually delete this sign here and we're gonna place down a block that's kind of forward from this fence gate and also this one here. We'll grab ourselves a lever. We'll place down a lever, come off the sides of these blocks. Take our debug stick, left click this till we get selected face wall. Right click this, set this to floor. Left click this again and select facing and have this rotate around so it points toward our uh, fence gate and fence post there on top there. So again, just a little bit of Java techniques using. Unfortunately, if you're not on Java, you will not be able to mimic this design with the levers and you'll have to pretty much just settle for not having it, unfortunately. Um, so that's it for that right there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and then make some adjustments here to this, uh, this side of the tank here. So for this side here, we're going to go ahead and delete this skeleton skull here, as well as these two um, end stone brick blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down, and also this sign here, we're going to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall in this section here. And on top of those walls, we're going to place down daily detectors like so. We're also going to go ahead and delete this tripwire hook. And in its place, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a polished deep slate stair, and we're going to place down a polished deep slate upside down stair, a wither skeleton skull on top, and we can't place down the sign here because we're going to go ahead and also place down a wither skeleton skull coming off this for the smoke grenade dispenser on the side of the turret. So just make sure you go ahead and if you have to delete that item frame, but you're going to have your smoke grenade dispenser here on the left side. Uh, with that all out of the way though, that is going to wrap up everything we need to do to change it into the the B version, actually real quick, uh, one last thing here is going to be to change these three blocks here to the Dark Prismarine because uh, it kind of mimics the reactive armor a little bit closer. So that is the last change we need to do there. And that right there is going to complete what we have for the B version of the T72. And with that, we're going to move into the T72B mod 1989. Uh, Moving into our next variant, we have the T72B 1989 mod. With that, uh, let's go ahead and dive into making the changes. Now, what we're going to first do here is we're going to be going ahead and deleting our uh, smoke grenade dispensers, so these fence gates and these candles here on the front like this. We're going to go ahead and then place down a upside down uh, dark prismarine stair coming off um, this space here. And then we're going to go ahead and also place it down coming off to the side here like this. We're going to go ahead and then delete the sign on the side here, place down an upside down stair of uh, the... Uh, dark prismarine stairs there and then we're going to go and delete this zombie head here to the side and do the same thing upside down stair there now what we want to do next is we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head coming off this stair here and to the side of the stair and same thing over here coming off the stair going forward and also to the side of it we're going to go ahead and also take a dark liquid sign and we're going to place it down on the side here of this uh, shulker box or this um and pull frame so it'll look like this here on the front we can then take some green carpet and we can place down some green carpet here on top of the dark prismarine up downstairs around like that we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head and we're going to place down a zombie head at a slight angle in this corner space here underneath our turret uh, we're going to go then go to this section here we're going to delete this uh, sign item frame and this slab and in its place we're going to go ahead and place down a smoker like this and then a green carpet on top of it we're also going to place down a zombie head in front of the smoker, like so. Um, we're going to go ahead and also go to our fenders in the front. And for this, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some gray uh, stained glass panes. And we're going to place down two gray stained glass panes instead of the green stained glass for the front fenders. And then going ahead and moving to the side here, we're going to delete this drip bar hook. And in its place, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves wither skeleton skulls and also a deep slate tile stair. We're going to place down an upside down corner stair coming off this stair like this and then a wither skeleton skull on top of it again for the smoke grade launchers here to the side. After that is all done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then go to this section here and for this section we're going to delete these two slabs 
and we're going to go ahead and also delete this zombie head here. We're going to go ahead and uh, delete this sign and this zombie head here as well. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall in that space instead of the zombie head, and then we're going to place down uh, daylight detectors on top of these two walls, like that. On the back here, we're going to go ahead and delete these uh, rails, and in this place, we're going to place down green shulker boxes across the space here. We're going to go and then take dark oak trapdoors, place down a row of three across. On the ends of the row of three, we're going to place down item frames with green terracotta blocks in the item frames. And if you're on Java, we can place down a dark oak wood sign on the side of that as well. So same thing on both sides. And then if you're on Java, we're going to go ahead and delete this sign right here on this, uh, this item frame. And we're going to go ahead and be placing these levers. And these levers are going to be placed using our debug stick. So we're going to go ahead and build a block up and out to, and back from this uh, fence gate. We're going to place down a lever on the side of that block, use our debug stick, left click it until we get selected face, wall, we're going to go and right click this to floor, and then we're going to left click this again until we get selected facing and rotate it so it connects up to our turret like that. So that right there is what you need to have for um, the detail around the turret like that, and that's uh, pretty much it for the turret. And I believe that is actually everything we need to do here for the actual tank itself. So that's going to complete the uh, T-72B mod 1989. And with that, we'll be going ahead and diving into our next variant, which will be the T-72B3. Moving into our next variant, we have the T-72B3. The T-72B3 here, to get started with, we're going to go ahead and delete our candles and fence gates here on the front of the turret to go ahead and get rid of those smoke grenade dispensers. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, dark prismarine upside down stair in this space here. And then also uh, we're going to go ahead and delete this shulker box and the record in the item frame. So we're going to delete that entirely as well. We're going to go ahead and place down a upside down dark prismarine stair in this space here. Another upside down stair here. And then we're going to go and delete this zombie head and place down an upside down stair coming off that. So it's going to create this here front. And we're going to go ahead and go over here to this side, delete the sign on the side of this uh, end portal frame and again an upside down stair there. We're going to place down an item frame on the side of the stair and also in front of it and then over here on this side we're going to place down item frames on the side here of these two stairs like that. Then we want to place down a dark liquid sign on the side here of this shulker box or on that um, end portal frame just like that to go ahead and round off the front there of our turret. Now we're going to go ahead and then take our green uh, carpet and we're just going to place it down on top of these stairs so just like that. And then going ahead and going back to this section here, we're going to go and delete this uh, slab and the item frame and the sign. We're going to place down a green terracotta block in its place, an item frame, and then we want to go and grab a black bed and place down a black bed facing upwards in that item frame like so. We're also going to place down a zombie head here on the front of it if you're on Java. And then also we're going to place down a zombie head here in this corner space, just like that. On top of the uh, green terracotta block uh, we were just at, we're also going to place down a daylight detector on top of that to go ahead and finish it off. Now once we come back to this section here, we're going to go ahead and delete this flower pot. And we're going to place down a dark oak with fence post on top of it and then a flower pot on top of the fence post. So we're just going to raise it up a little bit. And then on the back here, we're going to go ahead and delete our dark oak with sign here if we're on Java. Then for all versions, we're going to go and delete the rails across there. Delete the green terracotta blocks, replace them with shulker boxes, and then we're going to take our dark oak wood uh, fences, and we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood fences across an item frame to both ends, and then a green terracotta block in those item frames. And then we're just going to place down a dark oak wood sign on the side there if you're on Java. Additionally, if you're on Java, we're going to go ahead and modify this uh, by going ahead and placing down a green terracotta block, or just a block in general that goes up from these side fence gates, goes up and back one, and we're going to do that to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves a lever, and we're going to place down a lever on the side of these blocks. We'll then use our uh, debug stick, left click this until we get selected face. We're going to go ahead and then right click this, set this to floor, and left click this again until we get selected facing, and then right click until we flip these levers around so that they point toward the turret. Before we go and wrap up the T-72 uh, B3, I do want to go and make one quick addition I almost forgot about, and that is going to be the smoke grenade dispenser on the side of the turret. We're going to delete this trip bar hook, place down a deep slate um, tile stair right here, and then we're going to place down a wither uh, skeleton skull on top. So it's going to look just like this here for that smoke grenade dispenser. And then also these uh, end stone slabs we're going to go and delete, and we're going to delete the skeleton skull here here and the sign placed down a mossy cobblestone wall here and then daylight detectors on top of them just like that on the side there. So that's what you want for the turret there. Um, 
And once you have that all done, that's going to complete my design here for the T72B3. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on up to the T72B3M. Moving into our very last variant of this tutorial, we're going ahead and doing the T72B3M. This is the most modern upgrade of the T72 and uh, the one you're going to see most commonly in service nowadays. So with that, let's dive into it. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and delete our smoke grenade that's been launchers so we're going to go ahead and uh, delete the candles and the fence gates just like this around the side of the turret we also want to go ahead and delete the shulker box and this item frame just like that so it's going to free up this whole front space what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark prismarine stairs we're going to place down an upside down stair here here delete this uh this skull here and you're going to have an upside down stair here and also an upside down stair right here so we're going to delete those two skulls on the side there the other side here, we're going to place down an upside down stair right here, and we're also going to delete this dark oak with sign, and again, an upside down stair like that. We want to go ahead and grab ourselves some zombie heads. We're going to place down a zombie head that's going to come off the side of this uh, stair here, and also on the front of it. And to this side here, we're going to place down two zombie heads off these two sides. We then want to place down green carpet on top of the stairs all the way around, like that. And we're going to go ahead and also place down a zombie head on top of this green terracotta block right here. Going to this section here, we're going to go ahead and delete this uh, item frame and dark oak wood sign and this slab here. We're going to place down a green terracotta block in its spot, a daylight detector on top of that. We then want to go ahead and grab an item frame. We're going to place down an item frame here, a black bed in the item frame, rotate it so the bed faces upwards, and then we're going to place down a zombie head going forward from it if you're on Java. Once uh, that's all done there for our smoke grenade uh, dispenser or launcher, we're going to go ahead and place down a... Uh, deep slate upside down stair in this space here so we're going to delete the tripwire hook place the upside down stair and the wither skeleton skull right after that we then want to delete these two slabs and we're going to go ahead and delete the zombie heads here this um and this uh, sign there we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall right here to the side and then we're going to go ahead and just grab ourselves some flower pots and we're going to place down flower pots on top of these walls on this side here we're also going to delete these uh these uh, daylight detectors and we're going to place down flower pots on top of those as well. Now once we get to this point here on the back we're going to go ahead and delete our rails that go across the space here and we're going to replace these green terracotta blocks underneath them with green shulker boxes. We're going to go ahead and then take our iron bars and we're going to go ahead and place down one two iron bars on both sides and then a row three across like this to go ahead and create this grating that goes behind the turret. Then after we have that done we're going to delete this sign here if you're on Java. If you're not on Java, I'd recommend going ahead and deleting the item frame as well. And we're going to go then place down three dark oak wood uh, fence gates across this space here. On the ends, we're going to go ahead and place down a item frame. And do that to both sides. And then we're going to place down a green terracotta block in the item frame. We'll then take a dark oak wood sign, place a dark oak wood sign on the ends there if you're on Java. And that's going to create our back detailing here for the turret. Then we're going to take a dark oak wood fence post, we're going to swap out this flower pot for a fence post, and we're going to go ahead and then place down a flower pot on top of that fence post. When it comes to the very back of the build here, uh, we are going to need to do some modifications to this. First being, we're going to go ahead and delete our unditching log, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of these slabs, signs, and levers all the way along here, and your heads. We're going to go ahead and then grab a dark oak wood fence gate, and we're going to go ahead and delete these fence gates, as well as these three slabs across this space. Now coming off the blocks to the side of the middle, we're going to place down two dark oak wood fence gates and we're going to then uh, grab our spruce wood slabs again. So right here, we're going to place down a spruce wood top slab in the middle and then one to each side to move our unditching log underneath this section. Once we have that done, we're going to go and take our iron bars, we're going to place down a row of three, or sorry, a row of five that go across this space like that. And then we're going to place down a second row of five directly above that, just like that. Once uh, that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and then go to this section here. We're going to delete this uh, banner, this trap door, and these signs, as well as this button right here. You will have to delete this item frame too if you are not on Java. We're also going to delete these signs here. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to take our iron bars. We're going to place down two iron bars stacked on top of each other along this siding to go ahead and create the mesh siding on the rear of the tank. Same thing is going to be done over here on this side, and actually we want to go ahead and stop this two blocks short on the bottom here, so we actually can keep the item frame, and we're going to place down a dark oak, dark oak button coming off that. So just make sure you go ahead and replace those blocks as needed, and it should look like this here for that gradient along the side. 
On the other side here, we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. So again, if you're on Java, we can keep these item frames. If not, you'll have to get rid of them. And then we're going to go ahead and delete this banner, trapdoor, and the signs underneath here uh, for these two blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down our iron bars and our one iron bar right there. And that's going to again create that meshing that goes around the rear of the tank. And with that, that is going to finish that off. And the last thing we need to do here is to just go ahead and grab some gray stained glass panes. And we're just going to place down two gray stained glass panes on the front here for the fenders. And once we have that all finished there, that's going to complete the T72B3 model. And with that, that's going to wrap up my tutorial for the uh, T72 family of uh, vehicles. And with that, guys, that's going to complete the overall uh, tutorial for the T-72 family of production vehicles used by the Soviet Union and Russian militaries. If you guys do end up using any of these designs, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from a sign of the build to a link to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to whatever projects you guys are working on. With that, uh, hopefully we'll see some of the addition of the T-80 family and also the T-90 family in the near future, as uh, I would like to definitely get all of the main battle tanks built up for the Soviet Union over time. So uh, definitely stay tuned for those. Uh, however, though, that's going to wrap up our T-72 family. And uh, with that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gear 2 4 and I'll see you guys next time.